Hi friends. I always have to make sure this thing's going because sometimes I talk and think I'm saying something and actually talking to somebody and it's not recording. So it's good. It's going. Anyway, I have a big confession to make. I have totally fallen off the frugal wagon this past month with the garden and it's one of my, um, I guess you want to call it weaknesses. I love plants. I love anything to make the garden look beautiful. I tried very hard not to buy a whole bunch of tchotchkes for the garden. I did okay with that, but I did buy some nice flower pots and too many flowers, but anyway. It looks nice. It's getting there. And I did plant my vegetable garden and I did that a few days ago. And wouldn't you know it, I planted some seeds. So they haven't come up yet. It's only been, a, you know, like three days. And the day after I planted the seeds, the cottonwood tree started sending out all the cottonwood snow. So now I'm thinking, I don't know what's going to be coming up, cottonwood or spinach or lettuce, but anyway, go figure. And then I had just swept off the deck, all the dead leaves from the fall, and it was looking pretty good. And there's cottonwood everywhere. So anyway, I'm going to wait a few days to do a follow-up, an after. I, I did it before. And so I want to post that video, but I'm not ready to do that yet because of the mess the cottonwood tree is making. And this cottonwood is like right in my backyard, not my yard, but, you know, like next door. Anyway, and they also just mulched. So all that nice black mulch now has a layer of white on it. You can't win. It's either raining or cold or the cottonwood is blowing around, but hey, it's where I live. It's where my family is, and Ohio has its good points, too, so we like living here. Anyway, to help me with my falling off the wagon dilemma, I ended up buying this book. And I did get it secondhand. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. It was like maybe $6, something like that. But I thought, well, maybe this will get me back on track. So this is what the book is. And I'm just starting to read it. So it's 31 Days of Living Well and Spending Zero. And it's by Ruth Suckup or Sukup. Anyway, I'm going to give that a try to get me back on track because, you know, this this train is just rolling down the tracks. It's, it's a runaway train. So anyway, some of the things in there, um, she goes over things like, um, you know, day one, you get started. Day two, you organize your pantry. Day three, you plan your meals. Um, and it goes on and you get to freezer cooking and that's the first week. The second week it, you go into cleaning and organizing. So that keeps your doopy at home and not in the stores buying things you don't need. So that's week two, clean and organize. Week three, she goes into um, flexing your uh, creativity. So in other words, I'm a, I'm a hobby person. I have a lot of hobbies. I have a lot of things that I like to do. I make jewelry. I, I oil paint. Um, I knit, crochet, make crafts. I mean, I could stay busy for the next 10 years and not leave the house, and I'd have plenty of things to do. So anyway, that was week three. Week four is earn money and get freebies. So, oh, and then goes to week five, um, create lasting change. 
So I don't know. I'm going to give this book a, a try and see what I think of it. But I think that'll help me. I don't know. I'm going to try and do some updates and, and see how uh, the, the progress is going. And if any of you guys want to join me, that would be great. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know if you want to join in. And let's see, what else? Um, oh, with my plant-based diet, I had, now I've been doing this for about six years now. And like I said, I do eat eggs sometimes. Periodically, if I'm going out, I do eat cheese. I don't buy cheese anymore, and I used to eat cheese every single day. I love cheese, but um, back then, my cholesterol was creeping up. So, and I didn't want to take any medication for it. It wasn't that high. In fact, the doctor said, if you want to take this, fine. If you don't, that's okay too. So I decided, um, you know, I, I would give the plant-based diet a go. But that's not why I did it, but it's, it's a perk of eating plant-based. So he said my blood sugar is excellent and also my good cholesterol. He was actually pretty excited about that. He thought that was great. So the bad part is I used to be 5'2". You know, I'm, I'm a small woman. I was never tall. Um, and they weighed me, of course, and they measured my height. And she said, well, you're just a little under five feet now. And I went like, oh my God. I mean, that just hit me like a ton of bricks. So anyway, I'm the incredible shrinking woman now, but I guess it's part of aging because the doctor said, well, for your age and the height you started out, it's pretty normal. So I was happy to hear that because I was thinking I was just not normal in that respect. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick little chat and um, do my confession here. If you have any good ideas, leave me a comment below. I'm, I'm open to, you know, anything. Um, and then before I go on this video, I just wanted to show you I, I made some of my sourdough bread, and this bread is just so good. And um, like I said, I'm going to leave a link, um, I think it's over here, to making the starter and the bread. And if you guys are into making bread at all, um, it does knead the bread with a bread machine. But it, it's just, it's so easy, and it's so delicious, and it's so good. I stick some herbs in it, and, you know, you can do almost anything you want with it. But I bake a loaf once a week, and that lasts me all week. So um, I don't really buy bread anymore. I mean, if I, I buy buns and things like that. Um, but I don't buy loaves of bread anymore because it's so easy to make and it's so delicious. I'm kind of spoiled now. So anyway, um, without further ado, I will hook that in uh, to this video. And I'm going to say um, before I go that I wish you all abundant blessings. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Here's my sourdough bread getting ready to go in the oven. This is the bread that I've been baking since, oh, probably about two or three months now. And it's from the kombucha sourdough starter that I started back in January. So it, it makes a beautiful loaf of bread. And I'm just letting the oven heat up. And it, and it will go. All right. Um, I wanted to tell you, too, about this. I just found this, and it's crispy beets. It's for salad toppings, and they're balsamic. They are so good. I like beets anyway, 
but these are dried. They look like this. They look like that, and they're really good on a salad. So I just wanted to show you my bread and my new yummy find for salads, and I'll be back later and show you how my bread looks. There it is, all done baking. Nice. Nice and crusty. Perfect. This bread is so good. I put some herbs in it, and it was well worth all the experimenting I did. I've made several loaves of this now, and it always turns out great. So, all right, there you go, my sourdough bread. And I'll put a card up um, linking to how I make it.